Well, hello, welcome to Issy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have gone anywhere, but you came to my channel for that. I'm extremely grateful. Thank you so much. I'm going to do a Taurus Love Prediction reading for October 2nd through October 8th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, please know the energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading or if my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. I'd be most humbled, honored, and very grateful if you decided to give me a subscription or a like. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my lovable, patient, stubborn, kind, fun, Taurus. Show me spirit guides. What's going on with my Taurus? Let's see. Show me. What's going on, Taurus? What you got going on? Five of Swords. The Star. Five of Pentacles. Oof. The Hermit. Oof. And the Four of Swords. Taurus. Five of Swords is here, and it's all about ugh, ooh, just about conflict. And when I say conflict, in your mind, this is a mental energy that you have right now. Somebody's played a mind game, played head games with you. I'm just straight. Somebody's played head games with you because because you, you're missing this person. But they've played head games with you. Be, uh, and it's really interesting because the star card is here. And the star card is all about hope, wishing. And I'm going to tell you what I see. I think you wish that they would come back. You guys have broken up and you wish that they would come back. That's that's they're, they're in your thoughts all day long. They're in your mind all day long. You wish that this person would come back. Um, you guys have broken up, but your heart is aching. Your head is messed up. I mean, you're. This is just one of those those uh, type situations right now. It's just you're just totally. Your emotions are just deep and dark right now because you really, really love this person. The star card means uh, adoration. It also means wishing and hoping. This could have been an Aquarius person as well, as the star card does represent the Aquarius sun sign, but that's not the only sign that's on the board. But here, the five of pentacles is here. My goodness. My goodness. That five of pentacles is there, and that five of pentacles is all about you feeling just um that you you just lost something you feel and not you feel like you lost something but also you feel like that you're a loser because you did lose this person this person played mental games with you this person was one of those people that you know you thought you could trust them and love them but you couldn't now your heart space but not more importantly your mind is is just is just twirling because you really fell in love with this person you really did. Now, here's the Hermit card here, too. That, I mean, the Hermit card is you looking at yourself and picking yourself apart. Why, Taurus? Why? This is a person that played those games. This was a person that played those mental games with you. The reason I said they played games, especially if they were Aquarius, because those are two different energies. Aquarius is a freedom-loving. Taurus is like to be grounded and focused and family. Aquarius, Aquarius people especially men they like to do what they do they're very uh free spirited very freedom like their freedom they don't like to be confined or tied down you just have the wrong mate but unfortunately you fell in love with them and i understand your heart is aching because you really want them to come back and here you are questioning yourself with this hermit card which can represent a virgo sun sign but it can be anyone but here you are questioning your own self these are the type of mental games that they play. They like to play mental games. And they play mental games with your mind as well as with your heart. I see the four of swords here. That's how I know this is a breakup. This is a breakup. But my thing is this, Taurus. Why would you wish to have someone back when they don't want to be with you? 
Why would you even wish for them to come back? I know your heart is broken. I know your your head space is not in the right space right now. But if somebody doesn't want you, why would you want them to come back? Why would you even wish for them to come back? No. Let them move on. Let them move on. I never want to be with someone that doesn't want to be with me. And that's what you've got to understand. Now, give me three to five minutes because I'm going to clarify this reading just to see what the spirit guides are going to tell us. Um, additional information. I'm going to clarify this reading. Let's see why this Five of Swords is here. Sit back and relax. Just relax, Taurus. And let's see why is this Five of Swords here. Show me. Give me three to five minutes. Let's see why this Five of Swords is here. Show me, Spirit Guides. I've got the World card here. This, this relationship is over. You've gone through the cycles, everything with this relationship, and it didn't work out. This world card, not understand why you're feeling like you feel, why your head's all messed up. Because you know what? You have gone through everything with this person. You've been with them through sickness, illness, death. You had gone through a lot. They've been with you. And now, here you are, there's a breakup. And that's why you're so deep, deep. I see a depression here. I do see that. I see a, a hurt, a darkness that you're trying to come out of. Um, so let's see. Show me why this star card is here. But I do say to you, you've gone through the cycles with them. That's why this is so deep. This is why. But let me say to you again, they play mental games. They're, they're a person that, that's all about, they can get in your head, which he has. Then guess what? They feel like they, you know, that's what they do. That's just what they do. So let's see why the star card is here. Show me spirit guides. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, okay. Seven of Pentacles is here is because, <laughs> you know, the Seven of Pentacles is all about learning, teaching. You're trying to figure out of all of this work that you put in, surely they can't walk away from you. All of this work, that's what they're going to do. And here you're sitting back trying to, can't understand, how could they just walk from you? And that's why this is wishing them back. But like I said, when somebody shows you they don't want to be with you, you need to move on. No matter how hard it hurts or how much it hurts, move on. There you... I wouldn't, no, no, move on. If they don't want to be with you, that's okay. There is someone that's going to love you better because you have a good heart. You gave to them. They didn't appreciate what you had to give. So let's see what the five of pentacles is here. Show me spirit guys. Why is that five of pentacles here? Oh, I have the sun card. Now, the Sun card is an interesting card because the Sun card is the best card and one of the best cards in the deck, if not the best card. But the Sun card illuminates as well. See, this is what the Sun card illuminates, the pros and the cons. The Sun card shows you, and either way it goes, it's going to be good for you. So if the Sun card illuminates, because here you are feeling like you're a loser, but if the Sun card showed you who they truly were and the mind games that they play and that they really weren't for real, if they showed you that and you broke up, then guess what? That means that your life is going to be better. If you had stayed together, if the pros were better, or, you know, if the cons were that you broke up, but if the pros were better, then it was going to be a great relationship. But this relationship here is good for you to break up with them. Even though you see the Seven of Pentacles here, you see us looking at the Sun card, because it's all about trying to figure out if, in fact, they really were going to walk, were going to walk from you. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. They don't they don't have the same measure of, of, of depth of soul that you have. They they don't have that. They don't. Even though you've been with them, walked with them, sickness, death, all of that, it doesn't matter. They don't have that same level of depth of soul that you have for loving someone. Like I said, they like to do their thing and they like to play mental games. So let's see. Show me spirit guides. Why is this hermit card here? Show me spirit guides. All four of pentacles. The four of pentacles. <laughs> four of pentacles is about someone that's very possessive. Of course, it can be stability as well. And it, it you know, that means it means stability as well. But the four of pentacles is also about someone that is very possessive. Someone that's jealous, has a jealous spirit, a jealous heart. Now, I'm going to say to you. I think that you're picking yourself apart because you're telling yourself maybe you were too, maybe you were too clingy. Maybe you held on because you know they were a free spirit. Maybe you were too clingy. Maybe you'd held on. No, that's not it. No, nope. they just, your energies weren't meant to be together. That's not it. Someone else out here love you to death do you part. 
for even caring about them because you cared about this person. You loved them. That's not it. Even though you may have been a little bit possessive and a little bit jealous, I understand that, but that's not the reason you're not with them. That's not the reason you're not with them. So let's see why the Four of Swords is here. Show me, Spirit, guys. Why is the Four of Swords here? Oh, King of Swords. King of Swords. This is a King of Swords. Now, the King of Swords can't be an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. I told you this is an air sign, I do believe. Um, a King of Swords is someone that uh, loves from their mental rather than their heart. They love from their mental rather than their heart. You know, they're very macho, very manly, but they love from their mental rather than their heart. And that's why this is a breakup here because they don't have the depth of soul and love that you have. They don't have the, they don't know how to do that. They don't know how to love like that. So let's start at the beginning of the five of swords. Here you are. You're, this person played mental games with you, but this is just how they are. They're very cerebral. They're very in their head. Um, they played mental games with you. Um, you are feeling conflicted, but it's mental conflict. And that's, a, that's hard. It's a mental conflict because you went through so much with this person, through everything, through COVID, through death, through, I mean, all sorts of things. But yet and still, you can't believe because here's the seven of pentacles that they're actually going to walk away from you. You wishing that they would come back with that star card. Can't be an Aquarius sun sign. But remember, why would you ever want to be with someone that doesn't want to be with you? Let them go. Five of Pentacles is here, you, and that's telling me you feel like you're, you are a loser. You feel like you're not worthy. Not true, because the Sun card is here. The Sun card illuminates the pros and the cons. Either way it goes, Taurus, it's going to be good for you. And it seems like you guys are going to have already broken up. And there's going to be good for you. And here you are, the Hermit, picking yourself apart. It's a dark night of the soul. So all of, you're feeling like, you know, even with this Five of Pentacles here, a little bit of feeling like you're the victim in this situation. But you aren't. They are what they are. You are who you are. Four of Pentacles is here. That's why you're picking yourself apart. Because you're saying they were more freedom loving. They had a more free spirit. If you have not been so possessive, possibly, that's what you think they might have been with you. But there's a break up here with this Four of Swords. And there's that King of Swords. And like I told you, this is an air sign, a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. This is someone that has, doesn't have the depth of love and, and the depth in their soul like you have. They just don't possess that. And I understand how you feel because you love them. But everything that you love is not good for you. It's not always good for you. It just, it is. I mean, this is just one of those experiences. It's not always good for you. But I do see someone that may be coming for you. So let's see here. Show. Let me see. Let me see. Show me, Spirit, guys. Oracle, show me what you want to show me about this relationship. Show me. Show me. What do you want to say? Huh, this is interesting. I told you I think someone is coming for you because I see, uh, it says when, within the next few months. But what you got to do is you got to heal. And forgiveness came out. You've got to forgive this person and in, in order to move on. That's the only way that you can move on. You've got to forgive this person. But they're saying within the next few months, I told you, I, I saw the spirit guys told me there is someone right around the corner for you. Someone that's going to love you 